Hey, what's up guys? We're on a video roll here, aren't we? Well, I guess if you're on a roll, that implies that you've done something good. And I did something bad. I broke my ECU. What's going on everybody? I'm Greg Peters. You are watching the Car Passion channel where I teach you how to fix your Miatas. Or sometimes teach you how to break your Miatas, but then teach you how to fix them. It's like Sour Patch Kids, they're sour in the beginning, and then sweet... Never mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I've been posting a couple shorter videos to my channel, and I, I go back and forth between this, where I, do I wanna post boost vlogs to my other channel just because they're like shorter videos, or I don't know what I'm doing, but you know what? I put a lot of work into all my videos, and every single one of them has got something that can help someone, or something for someone to learn. So I figure, what the heck, I'm just gonna post everything on this channel. Anyways, let's jump into my ECU, and I'll show you what I broke. So the thing I broke here has nothing to do with the mod that I just did in the last video and that's why I didn't want to put this part in that video because I knew everyone was just going to be saying, oh well you changed wiring inside the ECU, obviously that's what messed something up. But that's not it because I did something else also that wasn't even in that video so okay I think I know what I did and I'm gonna find out today and I will explain everything so hopefully you guys can avoid making this mistake and you can also fix your ECU if you do. So uh, yeah, let's jump into this thing. All right, so after putting the modded ECU back in the car, I turned the key to the on position, I heard the fuel pump kick on for a fraction of a second and then it all shut off and the car wouldn't start and that is, um, that's never a good sign. The ECU was not functioning but I knew it still had power because it's got these LEDs right here that actually show through the case. And I could see that the ECU was still being powered by 12 volts. So I took the cover off, looked at the board in complete confusion, not knowing what to do. And I once again called up tuning Yoda, Toby at Advanced Engine Dynamics. And he said, look, this is what you gotta do. Check it out, get back to me. So you got these two little fuses right here. And these are basically your stupid fuses. If you make a stupid mistake and you send voltage to the wrong place or send a little bit too much voltage, fast response fuses are supposed to blow. So I'm gonna do a test here on both of these fuses. I'm gonna set the voltmeter to resistance. And these are two identical 500 milliamp fuses. So I'm gonna put my pins on the terminals of the top ones here. And you can see the resistance through this fuse is less than one ohm, which means there is continuity from one end to the other. And I'll do the same thing with this bottom fuse. And we get OL, which means there is no continuity. No power can go from one side to the other, which means that fuse is blown. So thankfully, the Megascord has these dummy fuses, and I made a dumb mistake, and the fuse blew, and now I have to replace the fuse and correct my mistake. Right, so the mistake that I made, I'm adding a second map sensor or pressure sensor to the Miata because I'm working on a video, Compressor Efficiency Part 2. Now, a map sensor is very simple. You feed it some voltage, you ground it, and then there's a signal wire that comes out of it, goes to the ECU, it tells the ECU how much pressure is in the map sensor, which you have a vacuum line hooked up somewhere where you want to measure that pressure off of, and then you can data log it uh, and, and get that information. Now, the pinout for the map sensor, very simple. Again, signal, ground, and VREF which stands for voltage reference or reference voltage. Doesn't say how many volts, just says reference voltage. I made the mistake of putting 12 volts to that sensor when it is supposed to be a five volt source. Why did I make this mistake? I don't know, because I'm dumb. Uh, and I made an assumption because the ethanol sensor, the E85 sensor, uses 12 volts ground and signal. So I wired it the same way that an ethanol sensor would be wired, and that was a mistake. So I think what happened is too much voltage got through the input to the ECU, and it blew that fuse. So first I'll show you guys how to replace that fuse, and then I'll show you the process that I'm going to go through to try to safely get everything hooked back up, and then hopefully we're golden again and the car will be started and running at the end of this video. So first you gotta buy some fuses. You just go to DIYAutotune.com. That's who builds Mega Squirt, and they'll provide you with the right fuses. You wanna make sure you get the right 
type of fuse. These are 500 milliamp in my case. You can see etched onto there. There are different types available, so make sure you get the right ones. I'll link those down below. First, we gotta remove the old one. Look at that little troublemaker. All right, let's put in his new friend. That's it. All right, new fuse tested good. Let's see if we can go get a Miata started. And I bought three extras so I can afford to make three more mistakes. Hopefully I will not be doing any of those today. So the first thing I'm gonna try is just to plug the factory plugs into the ECU, no options port, and just turn the key to on and, and see that the fuel pump does kick on, which means I'm not blowing that fuse again. All right, I'm gonna turn it to on. I'm looking for a full fuel pump prime, please. Oh, thank God, okay. That means it was definitely something that I did with that map sensor that caused the issue here. So now what I'm gonna do is, I can't start the car because some stuff is essential that runs off the options plug on my setup, uh, like two of the injectors. I'm going to just completely disconnect the, the second map sensor that I added and plug the options port back in and see if the car fires up fine. Here's my new map sensor, which I hope I didn't fry this thing. That would kind of suck, but I mean, the map sensor is like 60 bucks, the ECU is 1300, so obviously the ECU is the bigger concern. So I'm gonna unplug that thing. Please. All right. All right, let's see if it fires. Nice. I'm scared. All right, the fuse didn't blow. That means that was the problem. It was just hooked up to the wrong uh, voltage level. Amazing what a couple volts in the wrong place can do. It'll leave you stranded. So thank you again to Toby at Advanced Engine Dynamics for helping me out with this little fix. If you guys enjoyed this little tech tip video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. I got a ton more content that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.